Hello everyone, for this tutorial I shall do a quick presentation on how to install and configure TCX soft phone on your phone and your system which you can use it to make contacts with your colleagues. So pay attention and let's proceed with our requirements on how to download and install it. So before going ahead, we want to first all have a brief view of what TCX is all about. So TCX client for Windows allows you to manage and oversee your telephone calls directly from your computer and subsequently allow the user to work remotely from anywhere. So the TCS client for Windows boasts multiple features and provides the user the ability to namely launch and transfer calls, create audio and video conferences, availability of the colleagues within the organization, and of course, work remotely. So with TCS soft phone, it enables you actually the client, you can sit down with your phone, you contact your colleague, even using your laptop, you can make a call to your colleague and you can equally receive you so far it's having the TCS equally installed on his phone or on his machine. So before going ahead, these are the few requirements we need for us to install TCS on our phone. We can use Windows 7, Windows 8, 8.1 and Windows 10. And also you should make sure you have Microsoft Net to install your system and the Microsoft Visual Restrictable install your system. So you can follow this link to download the TCS soft phone depending on your system. You can go for latest version or you can go for version 12, that's the old version depending on your system. So I shall go ahead and download the latest version of it. So go ahead and copy this link and paste it into your web browser. And so once you paste this link onto your web browser, like you can see above here, just go ahead and take the trial version, click on try. And so once this page opens up to you, just scroll down here. You can see this this bar here requesting either if you are running for a company or for an individual purpose. So I said for a personal point, I'm going to use a individual purpose. Write my username there, my phone number. Put in your zip code. Same thing like your email address. And number of extension, I can go for a full that's 100 above, but I'll go and take the basic one that's 0 to 25. And so, after putting your email address, all you need to use to go back actually onto your, your Gmail account. So, go ahead and log into your Gmail account. This one I provided here, so I'm going to use with this one. Put in your password and click on the link they sent to you. And so once you have opened your web browser, click on this link, this is the link they sent to you, click on it and verify your email address, then verify now your email, by like clicking on that. So once this page open up to you, all you need to do is just to come and click on download for Windows, either for Windows system you're using or for a Linux system. So click the first option for Windows you're using. So as you can see, you receive this type of to download it, but since I already have my system, I will not download it again. Or you can click on cancel. So go back onto your system, right? And go ahead and install now 36X. So I go under my downloads where I install the system. Under programs. Then click on it. And so now you are now going through to the installation of TCS on your system. So click on next and proceed. After the following license and construct installation, then this is the location which you shall be stored on your system. Click on next and then install it. I shall then pause this video from here and resume when it has finished installing the system on my machine since it can take some several minutes. So I shall go ahead and pause the video for now. And so after installing, you can notice that going to come to this command line interface in which you can go ahead and install your 3cx so you can use a web browser or you can use a command line you are going to command line interface so go ahead and take just on one let me first put in my connection to control the process so just go ahead and click on one to continue 
click on one and that's all. it's going to now open the web interface for you to work and so at this point once the web interface opens up to you you shall ask you not to put in your license key so all you need to do is just go back onto your email address that is sent to you click back on this verify email address in which you are going to download our tcx you're going to see this trial version of the of the link they get to the key just copy this key and paste it back here onto your web console then click on next to proceed then here you need to insert a username and your password your credentials for this is the management console which are installing click on next then allow your public ip address you can automatically your public ip address so allow the first option then use the static ip address if you are setting your ip address does not change so go ahead and leave it as static if your setting does not change it at this point you need to insert your domain at your domain that's your subdomain for the fqrdn because once you want to log into this panel you're going to use this domain to log in so go ahead and put any name for your domain since for example i'm going to use the big fish as usual click on next and also allow the default one and click on next to proceed the ports are, are equal click on next again Now it is now generating all the certificate for it to run now on this server on your system, the management console. So with a little bit, it's going to now generate all the necessary credentials for it to run. So now at the point of the extension line, go ahead and leave as default the three digits and click on next, proceed. Then enter your email address. And so once you have done that, just go ahead and click on next and proceed. Then this is your account, you can go ahead and choose your country. So go ahead and insert your country in your time zone and proceed. Then this is for the extension. For the extension, you can leave as the default one, but I'm going to use a 201. That's the extension I'm going to use, is the most popular extension use. Then once you have inserted your extension number, you can go ahead now and either put in your operation, that's your voice message extension, leave as default, then pursue the installation. Then you can now see this is a country in which you can make your call. You can expand the list and view other country of your choice. To see if you want to ask other more countries. So I shall go ahead and leave it. Let's say I can maybe put one like Central Africa for example. Or I'll move it back. Then I just go ahead and click on my installation. Or you can take a country out of Africa and pursue your installation. But I'll leave it as default. Then use the English as default standard. And click on next. And so now you have to make sure you accurately fill in your registration details. Put in your contact name, your company name, your email address, your number as you can see it's already identified. And this is your country. This one is optional, so you don't need it. You can leave it since you don't actually have a reseller ID. Then you are finished. So now we're now configuring our installer, our process. So we in the short period of time we shall be true we are supposed to do. So I shall pause this video from here and resume when it has actually configured everything in the database and for the users. So in the short period of time, I shall then resume by the video. And so once all has been configured, you receive now this message congratulating you for all you use to click on this domain you created to bring you to the management console. And so once it's open, just go ahead and put in the username you created or the, the extension you wish to give. Then put in your password. Then log into the panel. That's just need all you need to do. And so as management console, so you can see this is a dashboard. You can answer your extension and your status information. Obviously, just there for you. You can go ahead and click on that extension and, and verify the extension you created. So this is the first extension you created now, like this. Then once you have already installed and configured TCA software on your system, just go ahead now and download it on your smartphone. Then once you have downloaded, check your mailbox you use to register with the 3CS in which you are going to now verify now like this. Click on the verification link and then dial the extension number. So follow me and see what I'm going to do. So as you can see, I go back to my email address, then go back to my inbox. You can see this, uh, the first mail I've sent to me, click on it, it's welcome mail. Then once you click on it, scroll down. You will see this configuration file. But you are going to open your phone since actually I want to configure Street Safe System on your phone. So make sure you use Gmail on your phone and just copy that and paste it. So once I download the application, I'm going to ask you to scan it or use the configuration code. 
make sure you choose the configuration code format what I, that's what i'm going to do now like this but you can see what i'm doing but if you follow the same process you're going to go and so once you have already done that on your system that is you have actually opened the, the configuration file you sent to your email using your phone so you can go ahead now and just dial in this extension number you have here so dial in the same extension number that's what i'm doing right now and click on call So I don't know if you actually heard the message you sent to me. So actually, I've already created a configuration between the one you extension created on your system and the one on your phone. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to add another extension here. So click on Add. Then put in the extension number and the person username and on all other credit. So as you can see, I've added the new extension, the person username, email address, and his mobile phone number. So go ahead now, just click on save the changes to proceed and so as you can see this is a new extension added if you notice you're going to see that the first extension is now green it means that this person is now available it means the person you're trying to now contact is available so now that it has now turned into green and so as seems like a person the first case all you need to do now is just to make sure you use dialing this extension you restart here that is open your three cs on your phone and dialing the extension and so once you've done that you're going to see now like what I did earlier on. So if I don't know the call service, you're going to receive some feedback they sent to me. And so that's just how it works. And in this case, always good for you to always check for updates. So we have if you have actually installed a 3 cs version, you can always click here to check your updates and just check for the 3 cs client service. So once you click on that. It's now going to now check for updates and now give you information if there are any updates important for you to install for your system to work fully. And so at this page, you can actually see here, uh, you can choose for the automatically update. Click on that and click on OK. That is, that is either weekly or daily. So I take weekly and click on OK. So you're going to send me updates every week. As you can see now, you can send to me that is first up to date. All you need to do is to update it there. But I shall not do that for now. I shall go ahead and proceed to the next important one. And so, as you can see, you can go and click under your contacts to say now you can add contacts into your list. So, you just click on add actually, put in your first name, last name, and so on. And so on, you can add a company's contact. And same thing like even for groups, you can assign groups. So, if to use pretty safe explanatory, as you can see. But our main point of focus is should be on this uh, extension. Like if you want to actually compare with someone, you have to make sure you configure the extension sign very well. You can see the number, you just need to come on and add again. Insert the extension, the person username and so on. Then click on OK. And that's all you need to do. And so guys, I want to thank you for watching this video with me and following right to the end. And I hope this configuration shall help you to easily configure traces on your system on your phone. And so I shall put below the download links for you to easily download traces for your machine. And if you found this video interesting, just go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We shall be able to produce more videos on this topic, especially on how to configure TCX more. So help this video shall help you understand everything clearly and what to do. I want to thank you for following right to the end. Have a nice day.